welcome back my sweet friends so today what we're going to be doing is puttering in the kitchen so let's get started so today what we're going to do is make cabbage rolls so so far I got my hamburger it is in the frying pan with onion and then I'm going to put two teaspoons of garlic because we all love garlic. I have some onion powder. So I'm going to put some onion powder in there. We're just going to season up the meat. So there's the onion powder and I have some mixed herbs. So I'm just going to put about a teaspoon in there. And then we're going to fry this up and get it ready for the cabbage rolls. I do have the cabbage in a pot of, uh, bo it boiled, the water boiled and then I put the cabbage in and I just have it simmering just to help me peel it so that I can roll them. And then in this bowl I already uh, have some rice already cooked. We are going to also use a can of uh, pasta sauce and a can of tomatoes. This one is the Italian seasoned. So we're going to use that. And depending on how much more sauce I want to, I want in the cabbage rolls, I might use a whole can of tomatoes. So that's where we're at right now. So I'm getting dinner ready. So once I peel it off. I do take off the really top part of the cabbage stem because that's the really hard and thick. So I just cut off the top part like that and then keep the rest. So I do that to all of them. So I just take off the big one, the really thick top. So I'm going to keep doing that and keep getting my cabbage ready. And then I will be back. Okay, so now what I'm doing is the hamburger is all cooked. I'm going to put the same spices I had put in the hamburger into the mixture. So some mixed herbs. Garlic is already in there. Some onion powder. And then what I'm going to do is, I have these t canned tomatoes. Now, I'm going to dice them up smaller and then mix. So, they're already in half, so I'm just going to chunk them up and then mix it all together. And I'm also going to put in some spaghetti sauce and mix that together. So that's what stage I'm at. Once I'm done the tomatoes, I will be back. Okay, so I've got all the tomatoes cut up inside now. And now I'm just going to pour in some tomato, tomato sauce. About a half a can should be good. And then we're just going to stir the cabbage rolls rolled now I do have some tomatoes in the fridge so I'm going to cut them up and I'm going to put them around the cabbage rolls and let them bake in the oven with them so just cutting them up like a dice them up and put them in just like that I have a few of them and then I'm going to pour some tomato I'm going to put some spaghetti sauce on them. And then they're going in the oven at 350 for about 45 minutes to an hour. So that's all we're doing is just going to dice these up, place them around. And then I'm going to take spaghetti sauce and I'm going to pour some spaghetti sauce on the top. And then put them in the oven. 
I have another can of spaghetti sauce. So I've used two cans of spaghetti sauce. There's another half a can because I have a few more cans, a few more cabbage rolls to roll. I'll be back. Okay, so the cabbage rolls were in the oven for about an hour. They are now done. They look delicious. They're boiling hot, so just let them cool for about 10 minutes and then serve. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I do an upload. And I will see you on the next video. Bye, everyone.